so in this example, what we're going to work through is we have a negative Lantisa and a negative exponent. Now that's unusual, but it does happen sometimes in exam questions. Now, we've got our Mantisa, and we know it's negative because of this number here. We've got our negative exponent because of this number here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to need to work out the two's complement of the exponent, which is basically, again, I'm going to flip that. And then I'm going to add 1 to it which gives me 1 plus 1 is 0 carry to 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, in terms of what that is as a positive number, that is basically a 2. All right, so we know that we've got a negative 2. All right, now, we then need to apply 2's complement of the mantisa. So we've got 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's our number. Again, you get to the 1's complement of that, which is 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Add 1 to it. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry to 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry to 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry to 1. Carry to 1. Carry to 1, that is 1, 0, 1, 0. So what you've ended up with there is 2's complement, which is the negative of that number, which is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 5, 6. Now, many people will be mistaken to do that. You do not do that. The exponent is a minus 2, remember? So before you even think about doing this, all right, you've got to remember that you've got a minus 2. So the floating point needs to go two places to the left. So what you should end up with is we're going to start here, and we're going to go 1, 2. So you should end up with 0. Point 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and it's the negative of that, okay? So what number do we have? We have a half, a quarter, eighth, a sixteenth, and a thirty-two. Now, an eighth plus 132 is the same as 0.125 plus 0.03125. Add those together and you've got 0 0.15625. Now, that's not the number that we're looking for. We're looking at a negative. So the number we should have is minus 0.15625. So let me break that down into the steps again. We've got our negative exponent. Remember, you flip it, add 1, and whatever that number is, it's the negative of that. Good, we got minus 2. You got your negative mantisa. Again, flip it, add 1. Then, remember, whenever we put the decimal place in, it's always between the first two different numbers. Now, because it's negative, we have to go left. So we went 1, 2, which is how we ended up with 0 0.001000000. 0 0 0 0 0 0. That, in its positive form, is 0 0.125 plus 0 0.3125, which gives us... 0.15625, and we know it's the negative, so this is our answer. Watch that back, see if that helps, but that was a negative mantisa and negative exponent.